Hi everybody, Brian Blakemore here with Aquati Motorsports and today I want to do an unboxing and show you a pretty awesome lighting product that a buddy of mine introduced me to from Australia and that uh, I believe in and I think I think this is a, a quality product. So I'm going to jump right in and open up this box and show you what I'm talking about. These lights are from a company called Steady, as you can see here across the front. And again, they are from uh, Australia. The folks in Australia put a lot of effort into their, their lighting systems. A lot of their vehicles spend the time in the outback and whatnot in the long stretches of unlit road. So they, they really have a good grasp on lighting, similar to what we do for off-road racing and things like that. Um, I'm kind of a stickler for lighting. I like to have good lights. I like to have a lot of different kinds of lights and I like to try different lights. I've got, uh, this is an eight inch light and I've got probably four, five different kinds of eight inch lights that I've used for various things. And, uh, you know, I've got different, different reviews and opinions on those. But anyway, let's open up this box of steady lights and uh, let's see what we got here. This was packaged with another set of lights. This came as a pair. And I also ordered an additional neat looking light cover that I don't have with me there in my shop. But I will say that for something being shipped all the way from the other side of the country, or sorry, the world, uh, it's shipping was extremely reasonable. Pricing was extremely reasonable. And uh, the, the product showed up quickly, quicker than I was anticipating. I really like these boxes. Uh, I think they build a, uh, just the, the packaging itself is pretty nice. So inside the box, we've got another box. And I think this one's got some kind of like a, a sealed cover on it, plastic cover, something like that. Let's get this out of here. These things are packaged very well. They showed up all together. Everything was strapped together and in real good shape considering it came from, like I said, the other side of the world. Yep, this has got some kind of wrapper on it. Nice box, pretty nice box. Let's pull this wrapper off, see if we can do that without damaging the box here. There we go. So these lights would be compared to a Baja Designs, like an LP9, or a Vision X light cannon, like the 8.7 light cannon, uh, things of that nature. Some of the cheaper uh, lights as well, you know, anything in an 8 inch, about an 8 inch size. Oh yeah. These are the Type X Sports in round lights. They offer three different lights. A Type X 7-inch uh, Sport. Look at that. Isn't that a nice box? That's a nice box. Cool. Uh, the 8-inch Sport. And then they also offer a 7-inch Pro. Uh, you can order these directly from their website. And I'll post a link to that as well. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. Man, this is packaged really nice. I, I'm really impressed so far with just the way that this is packaged. Uh, here we've got an installation guide. It comes with these lights. Showing uh, recommended procedure for using the mounting brackets. They also says that they can be plugged into your uh, high beams so that the lights will come on with your high beams when you toggle your high beams. That's uh, that's pretty handy, that's kind of neat. Nice printing on this uh, little manual here. Now the good stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> so here they are. These are the Steady Type X Pro 8 inch. Let's see if I can pull one of these covers off. That's a lot of light. This is gonna be a, a pretty bright, pretty bright setup. Uh, I'll get these taken out of the box and I, I won't have them installed on anything just yet, but I will uh, pigtail them to the battery 
just briefly so that we can kind of get an idea of the light output. So let's see what else is in this kit here. Of course, two lights, there's a pair. And it comes with a, this style Deutsch connector that may not be the correct pronunciation, but there's a pigtail. So you can wire it up yourself. Two pin, positive, negative, that's it. So unlike the LP9s, these don't have a high low function and they don't have the amber backlight if you do with if you go with the LP9 Pro like what I have on the chase truck. Uh, that whatever, uh, you know, is it worth the price? I'm not sure. To have that extra feature. The the high beam, low beam on the LP9s is not something that is really necessary per se, but I do use it on occasion on some of the lights when I don't need full uh, broadcast of what the lights are capable of. Uh, so I, I, I do use that sometimes, but it's not, it's not necessary. It's not a necessary function. Off-road lights are off-road lights and uh, they're either on or they're off really. And the amber backlight, the amber backlight is cool. I think it's cool on the chase truck. It looks cool on the chase truck. It's not necessary for every application, but it is a neat feature that these lights do not offer. So we'll, I'll talk about these lights a little bit more, show you what comes in this kit, and then we'll talk about the pricing a little bit, and then uh, we'll go outside and, and hook them up and uh, compare them to a eBay special light that I bought off uh, Amazon or eBay or somewhere just to have a cheap light to test and see you know what kind of function it, it had for, for not a whole lot of money. So we've got all of our hardware here. Everything comes with a lock washer. And remember, this kit's from Australia, so all this hardware is metric. Uh, the holes are going to be M10s or like a 13, 30 seconds or something like that if you want to go there. I ended up getting a, an, an M10 drill bit in order to uh, put the appropriate size holes and everything. It comes with the Allen wrenches that you need to assemble the light. The mounting bolts to mount the light to whatever vehicle you're putting them on or you know wherever you're mounting them it uses a carriage bolt and then the rest are allen head screws that go in the side to hold the light into the bracket and so that you can adjust it up and down pretty nice packaging here it's nice that they include everything including the allen keys that's handy in this little package here we have a rubber isolator for your mounting and then a secondary plate that goes on top of the mounting bracket and if you look in the instructions I don't know if you can see that that close you can see those three objects here also here the rubber isolator it's vehicle rubber isolator mounting bracket plate on top they say that these will assist. Oh, there's also a couple rubber gaskets here. This one needs the hole punched out. There it is. There we go. So these little rubber gaskets here will go uh, between the mounting bolts and uh, on the light and the bracket. Uh, so the bracket that actually holds the light uh, in itself, I'll show you the holes for that here in just a second. That's where those little pieces go, two per side. They say in the user manual that it's recommended that you use all three of these objects, the mounting plate, the mounting bracket, and the rubber isolator in order to prevent damage to the light or damage uh, to reduce vibrational forces through your vehicle into the light or into the mounting bracket itself. Is that necessary? It depends on the use, most likely. But if I can pull these out of here, Here's the mounting bracket for the light. And the light, of course, I can pull it out of here. That's a big light. Oh man, that's nice. Aluminum body. It's got cooling fins in the back for it. It's got a nice weatherproof seal for the power cable. Here's where the two bolts go to mount the light to the bracket got this neat orange ring adds a little bit of color to it that's a nice nice light sets up just like this in here in this bracket 
these are these are nice brackets they seem to be pretty heavy duty uh, that was another thing that i did like about the lp9s was the bracketry in the lp9 was very solid uh, this seems to be just as solid it's got a little decorative plate on the side that says steady and just a little accent accent plate it is in with allen screws looks like you could take it off if you wanted to or make your own or something like that if you cared to um, but these these other plates like i said will mount the rubber isolator then this mounting bracket and then the top plate one thing that i found about these lights that it's not that i don't like but it's something that we have to deal with is the holes on the bottom are not the same pattern as the typical three hole lights that you find here in the u.s baja designs and whatnot so when you buy your mounting tabs like from car tech or someplace like that that has the three hole mounting tabs the holes won't line up with these exactly these are bigger and wider so you'll have to get creative on your on your mounting if you're mounting them straight to a bumper which is what i've seen happens a lot in australia they just bolt them straight onto their aftermarket front bumpers push bars and whatnot then not a big deal but if you're welding tabs onto a rack of some kind or something like that then uh, then you will have to drill new holes um you won't be able to use the standard three hole design tab that is available here in the states like at cartech or someplace like that i wish they would make tabs weld on tabs for these lights that would be something neat if the company could offer that because this design is is different and it's a unique pattern not a big deal it can be overcome pretty easily but uh yeah it's just one one little comment that i had about it all right what else we got in here this is nice so this kit comes with two lights and the pigtails or their full wiring harness with headlight adapters for two different kinds of headlights it looks like yep two different kinds of headlights you've got like an m an m4 and then like a uh 9006 or something like that that you can wire these into in order to pull off of the high beam and then you plug this into their harness here and their harness of course comes with a relay it comes with this rubberized coating uh on off switch a fuse two connectors for the lights uh a disconnect here to it uh, looks like probably in order to route the switch through the firewall so that you're not running a big mess of cables through you can unplug that, I'm sure. Yep, there it goes. Unplug that and send it through the firewall in a smaller piece so it's easier to route. And everything is weather sealed. Um, you know, it's it's quality. This is, this is a very quality kit. I'm very impressed. The harness for LP9s is sold separately. You have to uh, buy that separately in order to, uh, to get a harness very similar to this. It has an on-off switch. Of course, it's a three position because it has high-low on it as well whereas this is just a regular on off and then somewhere in here this connection here is to connect to your harness here if you want to run off your high beams so nice that they include this that's that's really nice i appreciate that otherwise you've got to figure out your own wiring or spend extra money and order something else and wait on that because you forgot when you ordered the lights and it didn't come with it and whatnot and it's kind of a pain but it is what it is Okay, so we've got nice harness here. And then, oh, look, we also have some zip ties. So they give us a pack of zip ties in order to clean up the wiring and mount the wiring all around. On this other side here is exactly the same thing as this first light that I showed you, uh, the same install kit. So let's talk a little bit about the pricing. So these lights, I ordered four of them. Uh, so two boxes of these lights, two pairs. They are sold in pairs. Uh, their website lists everything in Australian dollars, and at least for now, they're offering a 10 or 15 percent discount to uh, customers in the USA, which I think is pretty awesome. Shipping was about a hundred bucks for them, and I spent for these four lights just over what I would have spent for one LP9. Uh, they were about seven hundred dollars or so shipped. Four lights, eight inch lights that supposedly have almost a uh, three quarter mile range on them. It's like 1,050 meters or 1,100 meters or something like that is maximum output. These are spots. 
uh, straight spots. You can get diffused lenses for them. But anyway, 700 bucks roughly for all four lights shipped from Australia. Man, that's really hard to beat. That pricing is, is pretty awesome. Uh, I'd like to do some more work with Steady and uh, help bring them uh, some better recognition to the United States. I've seen some of these lights fired up, and uh, I think they're they're pretty impressive. So we'll take these outside. We'll hook this pigtail up and uh, just hook it directly to the battery briefly so that we can get a, a good look at the spot. I'm here at the house, so we'll shine them across the lake and see if we can see the other side of the lake. And then I'll also compare them to the uh, cheap eBay lights that are on my Chevy uh, right now, which I'll probably replace these on for um uh, on those i've already put a set of these on my porsche uh i think uh, it you know it looks cool on a little safari car i bought this set originally for my jeep but now i like these lights and i'm moving them to everything this set will probably replace the cheap ebay lights on my chevy so i'm gonna have to order some more so there will be more of these lights coming to the united states i appreciate y'all watching and uh hang on just a minute and we'll go outside and uh, hook these lights up and we'll show you what they look like outside All right, so we're outside now. There may be some wind noise. It's pretty windy out here, a little bit chilly. First, I'm gonna flip on the uh, cheap Amazon special, eBay special lights that I have on the Chevy right now. And you'll kind of see how they wash out uh, not very far in front of the truck and you don't get a whole lot of distance. And then I'll hook up the one, one of the steady lights and we'll, uh, we'll compare it. So here's the cheap lights first. So you don't get a whole lot of distance. It's kind of a wide pattern. Uh, it puts out more light than the headlights and more light than the high beams on the truck. So that's nice, but it's a cheap light and you get what you pay for when you uh, buy cheap lights. And now we'll hook up one of the uh, steady lights here. I've just got some alligator clips to it and we'll, uh, We'll shine that out across the lake and see what we can see. Look at that. That's a pretty awesome spotlight there. It shines all the way across the lake, you can see clearly. That's a good light. So there we have it. Again, these are uh, steady lights from Australia. This light here, steady light from Australia. I'll post a link below. Uh, I appreciate everybody watching. Hopefully the video's not too dark in this portion. And uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll have these mounted on a couple vehicles and do some road testing with them and things like that get some better video uh, but i wanted to give you all a first impression and an unboxing of these awesome lights from steady in australia thanks